All right, guys, in this course, I'll teach you how I create and sell YouTube videos to clients using AI only, so you can start stacking up dollars and five-star reviews just like I do in my free time. With that said, let me show you an example of a YouTube video I made for a client. I'll explain what they asked for and how I managed to do it using only AI. Judas Iscariot, the most infamous traitor in history. But why did one of Jesus' own disciples betray him? Was it really just for 30 pieces of silver? In this video, we'll explore the complex motives behind Judas's shocking betrayal of Jesus. Judas's lack of faith. Despite being chosen as one of the 12 apostles, Judas never truly believed Jesus was the Messiah or the Son of God. Unlike the other disciples, Judas only ever called Jesus rabbi or teacher, never acknowledging him as Lord. He lacked the deep faith and personal relationship with Christ that the other apostles had, disillusionment with Jesus' mission. Judas, like many Jews at the time, expected the Messiah to overthrow Roman rule and establish an earthly kingdom. When Jesus made it clear his kingdom wasn't of this earth and leading a rebellion wasn't on his divine plans, Judas became disillusioned feeling that Jesus had failed the Jewish people. All right, you get the point. Now, before we begin, you might have noticed that I haven't promoted a product or accepted a sponsorship in any of my videos, and that's because I still don't see the real value in how something can actually benefit you or help you make money from the sponsors who have reached out to me. So just know that nothing is sponsored here today or has been in any of my videos because I will never promote something just for personal gain if it isn't valuable enough for you guys also. All right, so let's break down the steps on how you can create videos like mine. The first step is creating the script. The second step is creating the voiceover. The third step is creating the images. The fourth step is turning the images into videos using a new hidden gem AI video generator I have found. Lastly, we will edit everything together in CapCut. By the end of this video, you will have what it takes to create and sell videos just like I do on any freelancing platform such as Fiverr, Upwork, People Per Hour, or Discord servers. All right, so this time a client asked me to create a video about the reasons why Judas betrayed Jesus. For this purpose, I first went to my favorite site called Perplexity and asked it to generate a script about this topic. As you can see here, it generated a detailed script of all the reasons, which is pretty much the same script I used written in different words. So let's take some examples of the script. We will use the first one and the fourth one and generate some scenes together. Now to generate the voice, we would normally go to Eleven Labs. However, since this time we need a commercial license as we plan to sell our video, we can't do that because Eleven Labs doesn't offer a commercial license on the free plan, which most of you are interested in. So, I did a little digging for you guys, and I found this site called TTS Maker instead. Now, TTS Maker is free for commercial use, but don't expect the same quality as Eleven Labs. There are still some good voices in here, though, that you can use. For example, you can scroll on the right side and search for the narrator called Peter. Okay, so let's paste our first example script and listen to the results. Judas lacked faith in Jesus as the Son of God and Messiah. He referred to Jesus as Rabbi rather than Lord, indicating he did not fully believe in Jesus' divinity. Sounds pretty good. I'll do the same for the fourth example, so let's download this one for now. To generate the pictures to fit our script, we will go to Ideogram. In here, we will generate two pictures for each paragraph. For the first one, I prompted for 4K, high detailed, masterpiece, high quality, back view of Judas Iscariot in his 30s speaking with Jesus Christ. They both are sitting on some stairs in Jerusalem. From the filters, choose illustration, conceptual art, and 3D render, then choose the 16.9 aspect ratio and hit generate. With the above prompt, it generated for me these pictures. Now I don't care for the results to be perfect here because to make them perfect, I will use another site later on. For now, I will go with this picture right here. In the same exact way, I generated the remaining three pictures to fit my two paragraph script. So, to save your time, I will just give you the prompt here instead of keeping generating, as well as show you the picture results. All right, to turn your images into videos, I found this hidden AI image to video generator called Stable Video. To use it, just sign in with an email and press the Start with Image button. In this section here, upload your image. You have 40 free daily credits per email, which are more than enough to create a video. Okay, let's see it in action with our image here. But first, 
Let's talk about the animations and what each of the options here actually does. Let's talk about the locked camera here. When you enable this option, the characters of the picture will remain still in the image, but they might have body animations like moving their heads, hands, and stuff. This is known to cause a lot of distortions, so I don't recommend it, even though sometimes it works wonders. The zoom in is pretty much self-explanatory. It zooms into the characters, and it's ideal for pictures with a lot of depth. The tilt down is an interesting one, because it moves up or down and can even expand, fitting details to the image. In some cases, it even creates walking animations if your character is in a frontal or back position, just like this example here. The pan animation here is basically the camera moving to the left or right from where our characters are, and I left the best for last, which is the orbit. What the orbit does is actually moving in a semicircle position around our characters, producing 3D camera animations, which look pretty amazing. And as you guessed, this is what I will go with. But before pressing generate, scroll down, and in the advanced section here, turn the motion strength to 70 for better results. Hit generate and I will see you when the results are ready. All right, here we are now with the result. And as you can see, the camera movement looks pretty amazing. We have an issue here with Jesus's hand, but I believe that is something our next video enhancer AI tool will fix. For now, I will generate videos for the remaining three pictures and I will see you in the next tool. All right, here we are now with our next AI tool called Crea AI. Crea is also a video enhancer and it will transform our video into a more realistic version and fix any inconsistencies. So let's try it together. All you have to do is press the upscale and enhance button here. On this page, you can upload a picture or video to enhance. I will upload the video this time. In the right corner, you can see some options. Here, change the FPS to 60, leave all the other settings as they are and hit enhance. The process will take a while, so I will see you when the results are ready. The process has completed, and as you can see by dragging the slider here, the results are pretty impressive. So, I will enhance the other videos as well, and I will see you in CapCut. Let's see how everything looks enhanced first. To edit everything in CapCut is pretty easy. All you have to do is take the clips we generated and enhanced earlier and place them one next to the other. The same applies for the voiceover script. Here, place each audio clip next to the other in order and make sure the audio matches the clips. If the audio script is longer than the clip duration, then what's best is to generate more scenes. However, you can also extend the clip duration by clicking on the clip and, in the top right corner, pressing the speed button. Here, you can reduce the clip's speed and get some extra seconds, but make sure to enable the smooth slow motion option from below to ensure a better visual experience and don't overdo it. That's pretty much all there is to it. Add some fitting transitions between the clips as well by pressing this button here and export the video by pressing this button to get it in full view. For now, let's see what I created this time in here. Judas lacked faith in Jesus as the son of God and Messiah. Judas may have followed Jesus hoping for material gain rather than spiritual reasons. Satan entered into Judas, influencing him to betray Jesus. Luke suggests the devil was behind Judas' actions. Judas' betrayal began in his heart, before becoming an outward action. If you're still with me, that means you are determined to make money online. For that reason, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel, as I share valuable AI news and tools that I have proven you can make money with just like in my previous video, which I will attach to my left, where I show how I managed to become a Netflix partner in their fan art program using only AI. So if you missed that, be sure to take a look. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.